Hey, what's good, peeps? Uh, yo, it's your boy Andrew Howell from Rinch Every Day. We out here. Uh, it's summer in Florida. It's uh, real sticky outside. Today on Max Speed, we're reviewing my 2014 uh, Ford Focus ST, aka uh, the fastest car on the street. Review your car for that you know of? No, I don't think so. Oh, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. I mean, no one's asked, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Welcome. So what year is the Focus? 2014. 14. <laughs> and uh, what you got going on here under the hood, huh? Uh, well, let's say uh, two liter Eco Booster, as I like to call it, Eco Beast. <laughs> it's a real <laughs> pot of fresh gababoo. <laughs> What kind of power does it make stock as opposed to what you have done to it now? So stock it makes uh, 252 horsepower to the crank, uh, but with a tune and some basic mods, we are sitting at 265 to the wheels uh, and about 340 pound feet of torque. Torque? <laughs> how, much, how much torque did it come with from factory? Uh, factory I think it's like 270, 280, something along those lines thereabouts. Damn, so you got like 30 horse and like 60 torque out of yeah. the tune. Yeah. And all those glorious pop pops. Bubba to be the bop boop boop. Do you do this in your videos, man? Oh, oh yeah, I'm 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 a I'm, I'm a complete idiot 24-7. Right. Like on, off camera, just whatever. I'm I'm an, I'm an, I'm a doo-doo hit. Oh shit. Pff, I could take him. <laughs> well, what what is that, a Z06? <laughs> <laughs> Have you raced anything before? Like on the street? Or I mean, I, actually anywhere really. Track, drag. Yeah, I, I did a drag. I did a couple of drag pulls and they were awful. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, California tea. Yeah. Um, I've done, a, yeah, I did a couple of drag pulls. They didn't, they didn't turn out so well. I ended up uh, bruising my ego. I mean, clutch. <laughs> uh, the clutch kind of got doo dooed on a little bit. Spinning tires, non-stop tire spinning. That was awful. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave traction control on this time, guys. If, if I end up making another run. <laughs> oh, now that, that's clutch too. That is clutch. This is not a car meant for drag racing and I'm not a driver meant for drag racing. <laughs> yeah, other than that, I've done like a couple of like quick little like roll races. I, tr I really don't street race a whole lot because I don't really care about straight line speed. I just went to the drag strip because <laughs> content. Um, but <laughs> big regret there. <laughs> but it made for a decent video. Um, and now I get to do a clutch replacement video for the channel in the near time. In the near time, in the oh, near future. All about the content, bro. Yes. Yeah, hashtag. If you ain't wrenching every day. Hey, the hashtag you content, doing? bro. <laughs> Dude, it's it's crazy, man. I, I hope one day I'm at the point where I can do that. Hey, we're catching up to this California D over here. Oh, that might be a Portofino. I, I'm, I not super, it, I'm not super. I'm not super up on my uh, either, new man. Ferrari. Hey, man, that's a nice Miata. It's a <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny voice. Well, I'd like to get up next to him and like actually ask him. Like what car it is? Which one is it? Is it a California T? Is it a Portofino? Like yeah, what it is? What it is, dog? What it is? He's gonna think I'm trying to race him. I know. That's the thing. All right. Ask him is that a Portofino? Is that the Portofino? Is that the Portofino? Hi. I can't hear you. Man. Uh, try it again. Is that the Portofino? Nice car, man. Oh, he was just waiting to do that. He don't care about he anything He was, else. dude. He fucking downshifted when I started talking to him. He didn't even hear me. <laughs> dude, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'd do the same shit if I had a Ferrari. I'm not... I, 
I like the way that car looks. It's, I a, it's a classy looking car. Would I buy one? Eh. I would not. Yo, he's already got like swirl marks all in the paint though. Damn, dog. Yeah, you probably did think you were trying to... I think it's because your exhaust is fucking Oh, loud. yeah, yeah, it's insane. I'm going to be 100% annoying uh, ricer boy, but, uh, you know... as I was hoping. <laughs> nah, dude, that, that, that's good enough. Better than nothing. <laughs> this is a fucking sick car. All right. Thanks, man. How much did you pick this up for again? Uh, so I got this, so it's a 2014. I got it in November of 2017 with 48,000 miles on it uh, for 16.5 out the dough. Um, it, does have a, it does have a boo-boo on the Carfax. It was just a, a fender bender. It's had the bumpers repainted. That's it. So, I mean, oh, you, you like looked at it and everything? Yeah. All right. Uh, the, the repaint was terrible, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not trying to win like, you know, the Concorde de Elegance. I just want a fun car that's uh, reliable and cheaper than a Ferrari Portofino. <laughs> so what is the purpose? Like, what's the goal for this car? So my goal with this car is to just have like the ultimate uh, daily driver, just like a daily driver with the fun, like totally maximized. I just, I don't, I'm not, I'm not in it for like massive horsepower or, you know, drag racing, obviously. I, I want this car to just be super responsive. Um, and I want to be able to just chuck it in a corner and not worry. Just have it handle like it's on rails, like it's being sucked to the pavement. That's what I want. Gotcha. What kind of handling mods do you have done? How long do you have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we got a TB Performance strut brace, uh, brake master cylinder brace, uh, torque gusset, mid chassis brace, rear arm bar. I got a Steeda rear sway bar. I got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Uh, and I'm hoping to get some uh, coilovers here in the near future as well. I mean, you were taking me to the back rows before. I honestly thought it was on coilovers. Like, it was handling really, really well. It is very Especially planted. for a front-wheel drive car, because everyone usually, oh, it's front-wheel drive. This is actually, it feels like a lot of fun. So without the handling mods, this car is still very responsive in the corners. It's very capable. This chassis is actually oversteer biased. So if you're in mid-corner and you lift off the throttle very sharply, very quickly, the back end will rotate. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she has lift throttle that, oversteer. That sounds like uh, sounds like fun. Oh, dude, it's <laughs> it's lit, bro. Oh, it's so sick. Five thousand RPM, no big deal. Holy f shit! <laughs> it does go out in the rear. <laughs> yeah, <Wow. laughs> that's cool. What made you buy a Focus ST? Um, affordability, uh, ease of modification. Uh, it's it's easy to find parts. They're not expensive. The aftermarket is just uh, immense. It's a, it's <laughs> any any part you want you can find to replace everything. It's just. What'd you have before this? Uh, before this, I had a 2011 Mini Cooper S. Automatic. Yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> I can feel you judging me. I mean, how was it? Like, how was the transmission on that? So is it's that an right? it's an ASIN transmission. It's a it's a uh, like technically a Toyota transmission and it was ah. super responsive had zero issues with it um just everything else uh was... <laughs> anything that's not the toyota transmission oh yeah gone. yeah yeah it's a it's a a, a british mark m made by a german company with a japanese transmission and a french motor that's frankenstein as fuck dude yeah i would pull but uh Oh, <laughs> I like how you pop right next to the cop. <laughs> you pop next to the cop, you can't stop. <laughs> so what do we have? Uh, what do we have done here in terms of like tuning, exhaust? Uh, so the exhaust right now, the previous owner just did a um, like basically a fence post exhaust job. They just did a muffler and resonator delete. I still have the stock catted downpipe, but I hope to get rid of that soon, as well as the uh, exhaust system I have and get a full three inch from the turbo back. Um, Got the Turbo Smart 5050 blow off valve. That Got sounds a, great. Is, I love it. It's very, very like wishy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like very sneezy. Um, it ain't easy being sneezy. Um, and then I have for the tune, I have, uh, there's a company called Stratified Automotive Controls. Um, and uh, so I have their 
basic tune and as the option, a secret option actually, uh, extreme pops and crackles. Extreme pops and crackles. Which they don't recommend running with a cat, but uh, full send. Full send. Full send. Right? Full send. Tune that kind of makes most of those pops, or pretty much all of them, actually. It is 100 percent the tune. Okay. Uh, with, without the tune, it, the most this thing would do would kind of like burble. It was kind of a little bit. You know what I mean? Like a blah blah. Pretty sure you need the pops. Like a, like a blah, blah, blah. You need the you need the pops. Yeah, but like, but you know what I mean? Like a blah, blah, blah. maybe like a. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, uh, this I'm, I think this is going to be one of the best reviews. Right now, <laughs> and I'm so serious. <laughs> was like a sneeze right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I love doing that like when, when someone's riding with me that doesn't really know a whole lot about cars and like blow off valves, they're like, what's yeah. that sound? What's that like that spraying wishy, wishy noise? Sound. And I'll be like, hold on, hold on. I don't stand a chance. Give some revs. See what he's missing out on. Nah, man, those things, uh, those things smoke the STs, bro. Are you serious? Mark Seven. Oh, yeah. Really? Mark Seven GTI is like stock. Big roast. What? Big old roast, dude. So why'd you get? Okay, did you drive one of those when you were looking for an ST? Or? No, I didn't. And here's why. Um, I knew that I would fall in love with it, and I would like, I would have killed myself by like, trying to keep trying to it. afford it. Gotcha. There's so much money. Oh my gosh, there's so much money. So if you if you clutch in, all those pops go away instantly. Like once you once you put it in gear and then get on throttle, all the pops just stop. Yeah, so it only happens when I let off the gas. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I would I would do what you did too, even if I had a stock exhaust and like just some downpipes. It's just fun. Again, like, it's just maximum fun. That's all I want from this car. Like race car noises, yes. Like because because of that strut bar, I took down the I took out the lower uh, cowl that had all the sound deadening. Yeah. So now the turbo sound when I accelerate. Just a, I love that sound. The, the mic probably won't pick it up, but I we can hear it. Just take these, our word for it. You one can, of these will pick it up. Trust me. It might not pick it up that great, but hopefully they can it's hear it. It's there. Yeah, it's definitely there. It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> you keeping this car for a while, or you got plans to upgrade or downgrade, as some people I'll probably, I'll probably keep do. this car for a while. So you had it for, what, two years now, or a year and a half? Almost two years. We're, get, we're getting to the two-year mark. So what are your... You want it to be, like, the ultimate daily driver, so you're not looking for, like, oh, bro, I make 700, you know, no. to the wheels. No. I want it that's usable and it's fun. Something that the power that I that's easily accessible, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, this thing pulls. Holy shit. And this is where all that chassis work comes in, huh? Yes. Significantly loud. For, I guess I'll hear it later. But is that really loud on the outside? Yes. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so it's like the sound deadening in here, is just kind of keeping it really quiet. The sound deadening in here is phenomenal, actually. Let's go, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting used to the chassis uh, mods as well, Dude, so. Uh, <laughs> this thing is awesome. Wow. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. This is one of those moments where you just kind of fall in love with your car all over again. That just happened. Dude. Just right now. Oh my God. This thing is awesome. <laughs> it is very, it's, it feels very dialed right now. I'm, I must say, I'm really, really liking how it drives. So 40,000 miles we've owned the car. It's now at what, 89 and like no crazy major issues. None, none. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there's a recall out right now for the purge valve on the, um, fuel tank which causes me some issues every once in a while uh but other than that yeah zero zero issues gotcha. she just 
she pulls like a train every time and I, I, I keep a, a close eye on my data here so you know and of course like if I'm in sixth gear I don't just womp on it like I, I go you know down to fourth yeah, or third gear <clears throat> I don't want to you know kill the I don't want to pop the mode I don't want to like, you know what I mean yeah. you know? I mean this, those pops never get off by the way yeah I know I've had them for 40,000 miles and I still love them Driving down property it, values, man. <laughs> you need me to roll oh, through man. some neighborhoods so that you can sell some houses when you get your real estate Dude, license. I got you. I think this is really good value for the money, man. Oh, big time, big time. And now that they've stopped making them, you're not gonna see them everywhere. You know what I mean? Exactly. Wow, that looks like a, a rally road right there. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> These mud flaps, man. You'll I, be good over listen, there. Listen, I would have done, I would have done that, but I just washed my car, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is like the country. Yeah. Ah. We out here. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good for a second. Dude, the turning on this thing is nuts. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, dude. That's pretty fucking cool. I Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little nervous in the turn there, but the car was doing great. Oh no, yeah, she handles it. Handles? Handles? She handles when great was it. It's fine. There's no need to worry, it's wunderbar. You practice these, right? Because those are like spot on. I, mean, I don't have a lot of friends, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, one of my side gigs, I, I do voice, uh, voice acting on, on the side, so. Arounds, arounds, arounds. Uh, holy shit. It'd be great if you can pass on this Yeah, one. right? It'd be really great. <laughs> that would have been a nice little like S kind of thing. That would have yep, been great. Yep, 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 yep. Another Golf R. Is that real? I was looking at the Miata. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, these pops are fucking ridiculous. Uh, it's so silly, dude. I who, love it. Who tuned the car? Uh, Stratified. Okay. I'm going to go to that guy if I get one of these. I'm telling you. Dude, if you got one of these, bro. Game over, dude. Game <laughs> Somebody wanted like supreme handling. Should they do coilovers first, or should they do what you've done so far? Do whatever you can afford, and just you know piece it together, piece by piece. Good point. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm in a position where I've you know I'm, I'm fortunate to have put in the work. Yeah. To get uh, sponsors, it's not easy. Like you know, it, I almost I don't know. It's. It's, it's. I know, dude. It it's takes, hard to talk about it, it because I, I don't want to sound like I'm some like spoiled brat or whatever. But I mean, really, I mean that's that that's that is what it is. Like again, yeah. we have people all the time that it must be nice to have sponsors. Like I've been at this for a year and a half. I made it my second and third full time job when I still worked at Injuku Racing, and then I left and, and made it my full time job and my second full time job. And gotcha. actually, my third. Foot. It's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You, you don't have to tell me, man. It's the reason I don't have videos out twice <laughs> so that, a week. So this is how you make a YouTube video. You're right. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Heavy Metal FL. You can find me on Twitter at fifteen sixty five. That's the word fifteen, the number sixty five. You can find me on YouTube at Wrench Every Day. That's also the Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It was a lot of fun. All right. This is a lot of fun, man. I had... Yeah, man. All right, yeah. Yeah, man. Let's yeah, do it. hey. Hey, it was... Uh... Yeah, man. Hey, all right. <laughs>